Hello everyone, good morning. This is John Hurst here with a few thoughts on the controversy of the statues that I am glad to say are being removed from public squares and federal lands and are dedicated or have been dedicated to people who supported slavery. Now in today's modern world, such statues have no place in my view uh, being allowed to remain on federal land. They should be taken, they should be taken down, they should be moved to a museum that is dedicated to educating people about the awful and nefarious impacts of slavery and racism and bigotry and how those statues played a leading role in being used to intimidate African American people of the time. Uh, they were built in order to not just celebrate people who supported slavery, which is in and of itself an abomination, but were also created to send a signal to African Americans in the South that slavery was nothing they could do anything about, that they were powerless to do so, and that if they attempted to even think about challenging the status quo in that regard, that there would be severe repercussions. Now, should those statues be torn down and destroyed? No. I don't think they should, and that is because history is what history is, and we learn nothing if we simply destroy parts of our history we don't want to struggle with. I do think they should be removed, and they should be placed in a, in a, um, in a museum, as I said, dedicated to helping people understand uh, how slavery is created, how propaganda is used to continue to foster the idea that such a thing is in any way acceptable. Um, because we need to learn how it was that entire generations of people were convinced that something as awful and terrible as slavery could even exist or be tolerated in our own country. So, let's remove them from federal lands. Now, why is it fair to remove them from federal lands or from federal properties that represent the federal government? Quite simple. The federal government, in allowing those statues to remain where they are, are in effect endorsing the viewpoint that there is nothing wrong with slavery and that the South merely fought to preserve a certain way of life. Those are all euphemisms for saying that the South didn't go to war because Lincoln thought they, that their choice of growing cotton was unsavory or that he disapproved of the fashions that of the day that exist in the South, or that he felt that uh, the products that were coming from the South were substandard. No. He took the nation to war because the South refused to give up the institution of slavery and fought for the preservation of that awful abomination known as slavery. So, does the federal government have the right to remove statues and other signs or, or monuments that endorse slavery or endorse the idea of slavery? Absolutely. That is why they are perfectly within their rights to say to people, we are going to remove this from federal lands or from federal properties, and we will have a dialogue with members of the public about where they should go. I personally think they should go into a museum that is dedicated to helping members of the public understand how propaganda in the form of statues were used to promulgate the idea that slavery was an acceptable thing. It is, of course, never an acceptable thing. And the fact that we are still struggling with the vestiges of bigotry and racism today is a timely and painful reminder that our nation has far more work to do before we can really say we've moved beyond such terrible things as slavery or bigotry, or misogyny, which is a whole nother podcast. Anyway, those are my thoughts for the day on the controversy of the day. Uh, I hope you will tune in another time. I'm going to be recording some new music this week, and also that music will include um, tunes from the Fantastics, and maybe from uh, this, the... Broadway play, a musical rather, uh, showboat. Okay. Thanks for taking the time to say hello. And again, those are just my views that I mentioned earlier or I outlined earlier. I'm not representing a party or a movement. I'm just one citizen 
uh, whose hair is slowly recovering, as you can see, from trying to give myself a haircut, who felt the need and the desire to express these views because I think we all have an obligation to play a role in fighting the awful, terrible effects of bigotry and racism that continue to impede our progress as a nation. Okay, my thanks for your time. Stay safe. Be well out there.